Hello, my name's Julianne Ovenden and I'm a freelance conservator working with museums in the east of England. Today I'm going to show you what's in a general labelling and marking kit. Some kits for specific collections, such as natural history, may have other items such as entomological pins or things for spirit-based collections. However, today we're just going to look at a general kit. First thing you'll need is a plastic box. You can get these from most stores. It's useful to put a hazard label on it if you're going to be using chemicals. Again, these are widely available. We're going to start with some gloves. There are many different types of gloves. Now, depending on what type of objects you're handling, depends on what type of gloves you'll use. These ones are nitrile gloves. They're available in many colours and they're useful for people who can't wear latex. These are latex gloves. You can get them powdered or unpowdered, depending again on what your skin's like. And these are cotton gloves. These are useful for handling, again, a wide range of objects, but don't use them when you're handling plastics or wood that can be slippy. Next, you might need some safety glasses. Now these, again, are useful if you're working with chemicals. A pencil, 2B is the best one to use. It's for marking and labelling paper objects. And a rubber and a sharpener. A selection of pens for marking different types of objects. A laundry marker is useful for writing on the cotton tape for affixing to textile objects. And permanent waterproof markers. These are different nib sizes. Tyvek labels are very useful uh, for sticking to objects or for putting in objects with spirit-based collections. Acid-free tie-on tags for if you can't physically mark an object. Scissors and tweezers. And these are our chemicals. For using paraloid sandwich, we have paraloid in acetone, which is the B72, and paraloid B67 in white spirit. These need to be marked with a hazard label as well. And this is wheat starch paste, which is again very useful for sticking labels onto objects. This needs to be kept in the fridge ideally, but just for the moment we'll put it in the box. Small paint brushes are very useful for sticking labels on, so using with the adhesive. A small piece of plastazote foam and toothpicks. Now this is very useful for when you're writing onto your cotton tape, because you can stretch the cotton tape out like so. Cotton tape. Again, very useful for tying on tags or for writing on to physically attach a label to an object. A selection of polyester threads and needles for sewing on labels. And finally, some artefact bags. These are useful for smaller objects or loose items. More information about your labelling and marking kit can be found in the Labelling and Marking Museum Objects booklet. This is available online. Just a little note on health and safety. If your labelling and marking kit contains chemicals, you need to keep it in a locked cabinet away from heat and observe health and safety regulations for the storage and use. Under COSH legislation, COSH stands for the Control of Substances Hazardous to Health, you should carry out a health and safety assessment and ensure safe working practice. More information should be able to be found from the person responsible for health and safety at your museum or the health and safety executive. 